Further north, the Edmond City Council just made camping on public property illegal within the city. And this comes after weeks of back and forth as the city debates ways to ward off homeless encampments. John Hopperstad is live outside City Hall with more for us. John, good morning. Good morning to you, Bill. Yeah, homeless encampments not really a problem within the city of Edmonds right now, but this new ordinance did pass last night. So if somebody is caught camping on public property or in a park uh, and they haven't seeked shelter within the city, they can be cited. Now, as of last night, uh, there is enough concern that the city council voted five to two to enact a ban on camping on public property here in Edmond. So council members in favor of the ordinance say they've watched the homeless crises in neighboring communities, including the recent clearing of an encampment in Seattle's Woodland Park, and they believe this is the way to keep that from happening in Edmonds. Very familiar with the encampments that I saw uh, personally at Green Lake and, and Woodland Park. And uh, it, it just grew and grew and grew and, until um, Seattle uh, decided to clear that out. And so I'm concerned that, uh, that those kinds of encampments could ensue in Edmonds. Tonight, seven of us voted on civil liberties of our most vulnerable residents, and five chose to criminalize those experiencing homelessness prior to offering shelter. After we adjourn tonight, we will each return to the shelter of our homes and sleep in a warm bed. So now that it has passed, it means anybody violating this new homeless ordinance could face a fine of up to $1,000, even 90 days in jail. And it comes at a time when a recent independent report found that homelessness is actually on the way down here in the city of Edmonds. We're live in Edmonds. John Hopperstead, Fox 13 News.